back to my channel. For today's video, we could do a quick walk around and show you what all I've done to the car. So the car is full bolt on. We've got all of the bolt on parts here. I'll just point out some of them. We've got the PRL full intake system that consists of the inlet pipe, the intake with the race math, obviously the air intake box. And then right underneath, if you can see, I've got the PTP turbo blanket and as well as the downpipe. You wanna zoom in here a little bit? See that downpipe blanket that also serves the purpose of keeping the heat in that area versus the heat spreading all over the engine bay. I've got the 2020 grill. It has a bigger opening. It allows for 20% more airflow to the radiator. And then I also got the PRL intercooler. One exciting thing I want to show you that I didn't have last year was the PRL flex fuel kit. Biggest change in the interior, you can obviously notice, are the seat covers. Black Euro Spec Type R style seat covers. All right, so with all the mods I have done to the car, the car is running at 390 wheel horsepower and right around the same amount of torque. I think that's perfect for daily driving. Um, I can only run E20 uh, with my current fuel system. All right, so next I want to show you uh, what kind of wheels and tires combination that uh, I'm running on this car. So if you want to zoom in here a little bit, um, I've got the Koenig Ampliform wheels. Those are 18 by nine and a half plus 38 offset and they are wrapped around with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. They are 265, 35, 18 tires all around. Follow me to the back of the car. I also changed something that I had in my previous videos from last year. We now have the HKS Spec L exhaust on the car. Performance exhaust had a really good deep tone, but the sound level was a bit too much for me, so I wanted to try a different exhaust, and I'm glad I made the decision to switch. And also, this is the Spec L V2 version, and it's really light. It saves a lot of weight, so there's always that weight saving. I'm gonna go ahead and start the car and hear what it sounds like when it's idling.